name is Britt Nicole and welcome back to my channel. I have seen all over YouTube 5 facts about me, 50 facts about me, so I thought I would bring you 20 real facts about me today. So before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and follow the rest of my videos that I do. Go ahead and get started. Number one. So my name here on YouTube is Britt Nicole, but my full name is Brittany Nicole. Two. I am 27 years old. I still get carded all the time. Everybody looks at my ID and looks at me and looks at my ID and looks at me and I say, yes, I am 27 years old. I'm, you know, it is a real ID. I'm 27. But I'm hoping the fact that I guess I look younger when I don't have a lot of makeup and stuff on that when I get older, I will always look younger. Number three. So I have two half siblings. I don't consider them half siblings, they're my siblings. I have a brother who is 16 years old and I have a little sister who is 13. They're um, a dad, but not a mom. I am super, super type A personality. I like having everything in line. I like having a plan for everything. If you guys can't tell, um, this is my mom's bookshelf and even though I can say that a lot of my books and things are packed up because I am moving here hopefully soon but this is my bookcase and this is my mom's bookcase yes I am type a personality I like everything in its place and I like being organized number five so not a lot of people know about this. I've been keeping it on the down low. Um, I do know my best friend Ellen knows and my mom knows and my Nana knows and I wrote a book guys and it's to the point where I've talked to an agent and I've talked to a publishing company about getting it published. We're shooting for 2019 to 2020 but yeah guys I might actually have a book coming out here soon. I'm super excited about it because I went from not the best student in school to writing my own book. Number six. I love the outdoors. I love hiking, camping, fishing, kayaking, anything outdoors. I really want to get into rock climbing, but not sure how that's going to work yet. Um, I have a mountain bike and I love taking my mountain bike. I live about 15-20 minutes down the road from a state park and I'm there three to four times a week because I live in Alabama and we do have longer summers than most. We have warm, more warmer days than cold days. And so I love being outdoors as much as possible. Number seven. So like I was saying, I wasn't the best student in high school. I hated reading. Absolutely hated reading. I didn't want to read anything for school. I didn't want to read anything YA nothing i hated reading and then one of my friends in school was reading the twilight series and you know she was like brit you gotta read this you gotta read this you you'll love it you gotta read this so guess what guys i ended up reading and falling in love with reading and um i read until like my like 21 22 i was an avid reader and then I kind of fell off the bandwagon for a few years. But in the past two years, I've really gotten back into reading a lot of books. I don't understand why I hated it so much in high school, but I did. <laughs> Number eight. I have a culinary arts degree, a business management degree. I am certified in wedding and event planning. And I am also certified as a professional photographer. I couldn't find exactly what... I wanted to do when I got out of high school. I took a semester off. I felt very lost and not determined to anything. And then that's when I, I fell in love with culinary arts and here I am today. Number nine, when my little brother and sister were growing up, they took karate lessons. And because of that, I now know how to count to 10. I used to pick them up or drop them off every now and again and I think also two of my cousins know how to count to 10 because of the same reason in Japanese so I'm gonna go ahead and do it for you guys it's ichi ni san shi go ro sich hach kuju it's been a while since I've been able to do that so I'm hoping I still have it 
But yeah, because of my brother and my sister, I know how to count to 10 in Japanese. I love animals. I have Jack Russell named Benji. He's 14 years old and he, I love him, but he is the most stubborn little dog I've ever met in my entire life. If things don't go his way, he's like, no. He throws tantrum tantrums like a little kid and it gets on my very last nerve, but I wouldn't trade him for the world. I also have two beta fish and two black moors. My two beta fish are both rescues. I got them in, well, I'm not going to say bad situations, but because of how they were treated when they were younger, they are a little bit disformed. They are completely healthy, but one of my beta fish, Luca, doesn't have all his fins because they never truly grow back. Most of the time they do, but Luca never grew his back. Maverick just has like a little hole that never grew back. And I've tried everything under the sun and they've gotten old now. Maverick is eight and Luca is seven. And I think that for the way they were treated when they were younger, the fact that they have lived over the average lifespan of a beta fish is absolutely amazing. My two black moors were also, I guess, technically rescues. They were given to me by a lady who bred them and no longer wanted them. They were super small. One of my goldfish was treated when I was younger. It is now deformed. And it hump between his body and his fins. I think it stops him from swimming as best as he can. But he doesn't seem like he's in pain. If I thought that he was in pain, then I would, you know, look in talking to a vet about, you know, what I can and can't do or what but he seems very happy he eats he swims all the time but he does have a little hump between his back and his fins number 11 I was diagnosed with ADHD when I was five or six years old and to, I did take medicine for it all the way up into high school but when I got out of high school I decided that I, I didn't feel like I needed the medicine anymore and I'm still not on any kind of medicine to regulate it I regulate it by you know reading and trying to concentrate more in my mind every single day it is a battle every single day for me to keep it under control but you know i'm no longer on adhd medicine and i feel like i've done well without the medicine this far that you know i'm going to keep going because i rather help myself than have a medication help me we're 12 so guys, this might be a little hard for me and I'm going to have to take a little breaks, but I don't want anybody feeling sorry for me, okay? We're going to start there. I lost two best friends when I was 21 years old, both to cancer. My female friend died in February of 2011 of breast cancer. My male best friend died of liver cancer in June of 2011 and because of that I have battled on and off with depression since then I do seek help for it guys so you know I'm fine but I have battled depression a lot of people don't know that only really really close family members know that and you know guys I just want to let you know that if you do battle depression there is help out there for you because I've gotten help and I went from a time where I didn't want to see anybody, friends, family, nobody. I wanted myself and I went into myself and became a very secretive person because of that. But I am doing a lot better. It comes and goes in waves, but I am doing a lot better. And, you know, guys, if anybody needs help, get it. I, you know, you need to get some help for it. 13. So... From that, we're going to go in something a little bit lighter. When my mother was teaching me how to count growing up, like 1 to 20, 1 to 50, and so on and so forth, I would always skip the number 13. I have no clue why I would skip the number 13, but I would. And now, my absolutely favorite number is 13. I mean, it's, it's weird how things work out, but my number has always... My favorite number has always been 13, and probably my favorite number is always going to be 13. 14. I have five tattoos. I have the breast cancer tattoo on my left calf. My best friend who died had 
gotten the tattoo right before she passed away and a year later I decided I wanted the same tattoo so I took the picture to the tattoo artist and that's what I have on my left calf now my right calf I have a believe tattoo and it's also for my friend who died of liver cancer it, he never had a tattoo it was just a little memorial piece to him I have let it be on my right outer thigh with a little bitty ladybug on it and it has a lot of like different circles and objects and stuff also it's very abstract painting with let it be in the center of it and the reason why I have a little bitty ladybug is because my mom used to call me ladybug when I was growing up when I was battling depression the first time around my mom always said you gotta let it be you just gotta let it be and I don't even think she knows that she was the inspiration for the reason why I got let it be. But hey mom, now you know. My left outer calf, I have a bow and arrow because I am a Sagittarius and they are the archer. And it's more of fantasy type bow and arrow. And I love it. It's, it's probably one of my favorite tattoos that I have. I also have a quote on my left thigh that says you were given this life because you are strong enough to live it and it's something that i try to live every day by for 15. so i am a huge nascar fan absolutely huge nascar fan i have been for a very long time i remember going to church with my dad and going back to like my grandparents house and we would always watch the races now i never really followed it as much then as I do now. 1920, I really got into following NASCAR a lot. To this day, I have to watch the race every single weekend. My cousin is in NASCAR school. My other cousin loves NASCAR just as much as I do. So, you know, I love hearing like what he thinks about this driver and this driver and this driver. I don't give my opinion that much, but I really enjoy listening to him give his opinion on who's being transferred to this driver, who do you think is going to win this week, and I absolutely love it. Saying that, I'm a huge Casey Kane fan. Now, I know this season he just got transferred to a different team, and he went from the 5 car to the 95 car, but I still love him. He could do the worst driver in the league. I'm still going to root for him. And then I, my other driver is... Harvick, Kevin Harvick, and he drives the number four car for Ford. And my cousin is actually a Harvick fan also, so me, he might have a little bit of influence on me on my second driver, but I, I love Harvick. I really do. So throughout my school days, I played soccer and softball, and I love them. My little sister plays travel ball, and she... She plays softball a lot, and I love going to watch her, but yes, I did play soccer and softball through my school days. I used to be a chef for Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines for a few years. It was very brief, and I loved every single experience that I got from that, and I do miss the people. I am still f really good friends with a lot of people that I made friends with, and I got to travel to a lot of different places, Cosmel, Mexico, Bahamas, and I love travel, so it was a good way for me to travel a lot. I do miss the people, but now I am a catering coordinator for a small independent catering company, and the hours just work better, and I love being home more, because when you work for the cruise line, you are away a lot. Number 18. So, this is a secret, guys, and I guess I'm confessing this fact, but I love to dance. I truly do love to dance. Me and an ex-boyfriend back when my early 20s, we used to go out to the bars and the clubs almost every single weekend. And it wouldn't be to party and it wasn't, you know, to drink. But I love to dance. I have even considered more recently on taking up ballroom dance classes. And I've even looked into it because I do love to dance. Number 19. So I've battled with my weight loss and my weight most of my life. I like that I am a bigger girl, but I would like to be a little bit smaller so I could be able to 
do the things that I love a little bit easier. I don't want to lose weight to look skinny. I want to lose weight because I want to be healthy and I want to live a long time. And, you know, I want to be able to go out hiking for weeks on end or go kayaking and it's harder when you are bigger. I have now lost 45 pounds since the end of last year and my goal is to lose another 10 pounds by June 3rd. But, you know, this is just my struggle, guys. And if you want to keep watching for weight loss, I will be posting vlogs and stuff about it. So, number 20, and this is last but not least. If you guys can't tell, I am naturally blonde. I have never dyed my hair. My eyebrows are white. And my eyelashes are or why you cannot see my eyelashes unless I put mascara on. I put makeup on and I do a little bit of eyebrows, but I don't like coloring in my eyebrows with makeup and stuff. I do like showing everybody that I am naturally blonde. I love my hair. I have thought about dyeing my hair more recently, but as of right now, I'm enjoying it. My hair has darkened up a lot over the years as I've gotten older, but I like it. Thank you guys for coming along with me and learning these 20, I guess, random facts about me today. If you like this video, again, guys, let's go down and subscribe and hit that like button. And I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video soon. Bye.